Rick Hartley, Biomechanics Healthcare, um, still as part of the series um, of Achilles Rehabilitation and Strengthening. Um, so we've covered, uh, in, in various series, we've covered the neural tension, um, strengthening of the Achilles, range of movement of your calf or your gastroc. So there's another part to that, which is your soleus. So your soleus attaches to the leg a little bit lower and then runs into the um, Achilles. Um, and so one good way of, of um, directly affecting that is if you, rather than going long in your sort of calf stretch, you can bring it in that little bit closer. Again, make sure your foot's pointed dead ahead so you don't want to bail out going like this. Make sure the foot's pointed straight. And from there, good posture and just sit into it. So you want to drive your knees forward rather than sitting back. If I sit back, I'm affecting the angle in my hip rather than the angle in my calf. So I want to make sure that I'm driving both knees forward. You'll feel the heel want to start to lift. So you want to keep that heel down and you'll start to sense a stretch for the lower part of your leg near your Achilles. All right, so again, Get the, get the muscle used to being stretched, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, just get, get, those sort of, uh, get some temperature in that muscle. And then once you're happy with that, just start to drive your hips left and right. Allow your foot to distort on the ground as long as the whole foot's in contact with the ground. Driving it left and right, do that for about a minute. And then once you've done that, keep that same stretch, but pick your front leg up and then start to drive in more of a rotational vector. So you're really distorting your foot again with more of a rotational stress. Making sure that you don't kind of stand up and just do this with movement with your leg. Make sure you're driven down into it nice and deep and just go left and right for about a minute. Same again, ease out of that, give it a little shake. Put it in conjunction with the other videos that we've, we've been through. Um, and it might just be enough to, to sort of get rid of that and give you an extra bit of pace on the, on the run. If it doesn't, then it's likely that there's something biomechanically in the foot that's being restricted and is holding you back, or something in the hip, or, or in your back, wherever. Um, and so therefore, it's probably worth, worth going to visit your, your healthcare practitioner or coming to see us here, and, uh, and we'll, do a, we'll do a full assessment. All right, thanks for listening again.